So underneath this beautiful bloom design, we have a piece of Woolerina's wool. Today, what I'd like to do is look at this archival design and see it come to life by putting some water-based, um, beautiful, environmentally friendly inks onto the wool. When we're developing, I literally like to have the colour made, put the fabric on the table and see the result. I need it to be very visual and tangible. Okay, now this is the most exciting part of developing a print, is lifting up the screen and seeing what's underneath. Oh, wow. Gorgeous. <laughs> that is absolutely incredible. I'm yeah. sure Warwick is going to be thrilled with this. Wow. So we have libraries here, and the famous, most famous one is Florence Broadhurst. And this is a story about a woman, and a woman of the 60s and 70s. And this has captured the imagination of people all over the world. When you put a story like that onto something as beautiful as this wool arena wool, it's just a marriage made in heaven. Wool is a very, it's, it's regarded as a speciality fabric. It has its own inherent properties. It's not the easiest fabric to print. And so for a lot of reasons, it's gone out of fashion. Uh, we feel that it is part of our duty to bring it back and this is probably the end of a, of a 15 year journey to try and turn a woolen commodity into, or a woolen product, into something which is available not only for local market but for export as well. It's very rare to be able to start with a specific sheep and to take that, that sheep gets shorn, that wool, everything gets tracked right through till it becoming a, a woolen fabric. That's rare and in 15 years we've never ever been able to do that. It's, I think it's the, it's, it's the most marketable part of this whole program. You know, there's a lot of conversation out there about whether people are interested in where their product comes from and there's lots of very robust dinner party conversations we have about this. Our clients, uh, and we export to 27 countries now, are very interested in where their product comes from and how it's been made and the ethics um, and the people behind the brand. They're interested in, this, they're interested in the story, the experience. They ask us a lot of questions and they want a lot of accountability. Warwick had these amazingly beautiful um, apparel products and I started buying them straight away. I mean, I think I brought three men's jumpers in a week. I really love them. Started to give them out as gifts, started to give some of the um, singlets out to some of the top PR agents here. I wanted to get feedback and I was getting calls straight away saying, what's this product? What's this brand? I've never worn something so nice, so um, smooth against my skin. I mean, these are very discerning people that are sending the product to. There's something like, and I, I'm, could be, I could be wrong in my facts here, but there's something like, I think, five jumbo jets a week coming in of apparel from online purchases. For me, it's about education, surely, surely. I, I think we can get that pendulum to come back to people perhaps purchasing less and more meaningful products that have traceability, that are ethically produced. But it it's going to take education, and it's going to take somebody out there in the wool industry or in all of our industries and textiles to, to start that process.